Oh, that's a good question. Everybody always asks, what is enduro? Over the course of a day or a weekend, you have a series of timed special stages that are downhill trending. I mean, there may be a climb at the beginning, in the middle, at the end, a couple climbs, but mostly you're gonna start up on a ridge, finish in the valley kind of thing. It's the sport that anyone can do. It's mountain biking in its purest form. You get to the top, have a drink, have something to eat, and shred back down to the bottom and do it all again. And you do it all day in some amazing locations. And I think it appeals to a very wide majority of people. There's cross-country bandits, there's downhill demons, there's four-cross whippets. You know, there's a whole bunch of different people all involved in the one sport. Originally, I come from a motocross and supercross racing background. I stopped racing motocross after a few injuries and, yeah, just kind of fell into mountain biking. Ultimately, I ended up using cross-country racing to recover from some motocross injuries, which gave him that incredible depth of fitness that comes from racing XC for years. So coming from a motocross racing background and then turning into a cross-country rider seemed to fit pretty well. Now we've kind of tricked him into doing this enduro thing, and he's pretty pumped about it because he's well good at it. It's one of the better enduros of the year. Uh, one of the better ones of the Oregon Enduro Series, which is pretty sweet. The trails are pretty technical. They're super fast. At the moment, they're pretty slick, but by the looks of the weather, it'll make it pretty wild. You can't really win an XC race on the downhills, but you can certainly lose it. But that's where you recover, you gather yourself, you ride fast, but you don't take chances. And in enduro, every single tenth counts. You don't take that 90% is fast, but safe line. You take the committed 100% line, and that's the attitude that you have all the time racing enduros. You've got to be able to descend downhill as fast as a World Cup downhill at will. But then as soon as you hit a climb, you've got to pedal like a cross-country bandit and just bury yourself on those climbs. I guess your mentality is like, you've only got a 15, 20 second climb, so you just gotta give it everything you've got to get up that thing. And then every time there's a pedaling section, just pedal your guts out. I've had races before where you've pedaled so hard during an event that I've popped the blood vessels in my eyes. So when you cross the finish line, you can't breathe and your eyes are all blurry and it feels like you're about to pass out and then later on your eyes are bloodshot because you push so hard. Oh my god. That was so hard. That was ridiculous. Oh man, I gotta spin. I'm gonna fall over. That was hard, man. I'm so pedally. It's such a big climb in the middle. You just pretty much gotta hit that thing and then try and wake up on the downside. Try not to uh, pop your eyes out of your head. Stage two. Might as well grab a handful and send it. I was number two this weekend, which is a place that I was plenty happy to be considering that Josh was number one. This past weekend went awesome. <laughs> yeah, I ended up winning the overall. I won six out of the seven stages for the weekend. I had a really big goal this weekend to stay focused and execute exactly how I thought I could ride, and it worked out well. Just tried to hold it together and bury myself at the final sprint here, and yeah, I'm still clean and I'm all in one piece and happy days. <laughs> Oh, the race went pretty well. I finished second this weekend. Uh, it wasn't quite enough to win, but I think I know what I need to go home and work on in the next few weeks to get ready for the next big race. I think Enduro's gotten so popular because it's people having a good time on their bikes. It's, it's just a very welcoming, fun atmosphere. You can be fast and just finish but now the level's lifted again, so you've got to be faster. You've got to be faster, you've got to be fitter, you've got to be stronger, you've got to be smarter, you've got to be more focused. You've got to lift it to the next level because it's a world level event now. You know, there's a world series, there's world class athletes who know their craft, know how to race, they know how to train, they know how to prepare, and it's a new level, so you've got to be faster. You've got to be smarter. You've just got to be more.
Josh absolutely pushes me, and it's great because that's what I need to learn, is how to know the capabilities of these bikes and know the limits that we can push to. And just in this week of riding here, I've been able to learn a lot. to the future. It's so new and there's no set formula about how to do it or how to train or what to do and me and my coach are working together all the time to come up with a new training. Am I the future? I don't know. I hope so. I definitely want to be a part of the future of Endura, that's for sure.